Hi everybody, I'm Greg Fischel. Welcome to bonus weather video number one for this week. And we're going to be talking about a word uh, which is actually a combination of other words, uh, evapotranspiration. And we're going to split it up into the two processes and then link them all together at the end. So let's go on ahead and uh, put myself down here in the corner and here we go. So this is how water basically is transferred from the soil and also from plants and, uh, and so forth into the atmosphere, okay? So transpiration is the plants and the trees basically sweating, if you will. Uh, this is, and I'll explain this in just a second, basically water coming up from the soil, up through the uh, plants and trees, and then getting out to the leaves and then evaporating off of the leaves, and then that's what's called transpiration. So it's basically sort of a slang way of saying that the plants and the trees are sweating. Then we have evaporation, which is simply water being evaporated, soil moisture being evaporated directly from the soil due to sunlight. And so that uh, moisture gets evaporated into the air. And both of these processes actually cause some cooling. And we'll talk about that in just a second. So evapotranspiration is a combination of transpiration and evaporation, okay? All right, so here you have your basic plant, okay, with your root structure down there underneath the ground. And you've got soil moisture present uh, most of the time, except when you have one of these nasty heat waves where all the soil moisture is pretty much gone. But basically that soil moisture is taken up by the root system and then travels upward against gravity into the plant. And then there are these little pores that exist on the stems and also the leaves. And the water basically shows up coming out through those pores and then those little water droplets, if you will, evaporate into the atmosphere. And you all know that evaporation is a cooling process. If you don't believe that, next time you, you know, walk out of your shower or get up out of the pool or something like that, you feel chilly. And that's because the evaporation process is extracting heat from the atmosphere and you feel cool as a result of that. So when you have a lot of soil moisture and you have a lot of this transpiration going on, it can actually prevent temperatures from getting as hot as they otherwise would. Unfortunately for us, a lot of this summer so far, we went through that incredibly long period of dry weather, and so there really wasn't a whole lot of this going on. Now, uh, so the water evaporates into the air, and then you have evaporative cooling as a result of that. Now, evaporation, you're taking a look at soil moisture once again, but this time you're looking at sunshine, basically extracting that soil moisture directly from the soil, and then it evaporates into the atmosphere, okay? And that also causes evaporative cooling, okay? So those two processes, the end result, even though the process is different, the end result is uh, the same thing. So basically what happens here is you have uh, transpiration, where the water is evaporating off of the leaves and the stems into the atmosphere, and then you add that to the soil moisture evaporating into the air due to sunlight, and those two combine you call that evapotranspiration. And again, the more soil moisture there is, the more efficient this process is, and the more it can hold temperatures back. But if you don't have a lot of soil moisture, not only does the plant suffer as a result of that, or the tree, but you also end up getting hotter temperatures because this process basically becomes very, very inefficient, if not non-existent. All right, that is bonus weather video number one for this week. Hope you found that interesting. Next one coming up Wednesday. Next daily weather update coming up tomorrow. You all have a wonderful Monday evening, and we'll talk to you soon. See you later.